Top five ranked gods uh, for solo. Uh, number one, honestly, it's probably going to be Wukong. Yeah, it's, it's definitely Wukong. I would say Bologna with the new item Equinox, but uh, if you're actually facing a Bologna, uh, Wukong is a counter into Bologna outside of the very early pressure. Um, so I'd say Wukong is probably number one. So this uh, there's like two options. You can go like really heavy damage or you can go kind of like proc item build, which is the, this is the proc item build. Either way, you're going to be going Soul Eater first and Bluestone first on both of them. Um, Bluestone, Soul Eater, and then this is the more rocky hybrid build. Go Glad Shield, go Arc Druid, big juicy proc, gives you nice MP5. You're not going to be going Oom once you get Arc Druids online. Roots will not be happening yet. Um, you get Pridwin after that, and then you want to upgrade this Pridwin to the blue Pridwin, which is what Reverend. Glorious isn't going to proc uh, on your ult correctly, so you have to go to the blue Pridwin, and the blue Pridwin is big over the normal Pridwin. Um, after that, you kind of have a lot of options in where you can go. You can just, if you want to be a tank here, you can go Stone of Binding uh, last, and it's going to give you a good prod shred, it's going to make you tanky. Um, if you don't want Stone of Binding, then, and you want more some more damage, you're not really threatened, you can go Runeforge. Does a big damage whenever you tiger somebody uh, or you ox through somebody, uh, but mainly it's going to be off your tiger, and that's just uh, if you feel like you want some more damage in your build, um, and if you want to get absolutely freaky with it and you don't want to feel uh, tanky at all and you want to just kind of go crazy with the damage, you can go Jotun's. Um, probably upgrade this to Jotun's Vigor, which is. Did I spell it wrong? I did. Which is going to be this one. Heals you a bunch, gives you MS. Um, and then after that, Serrated. More lifesteal, very nice. And then into Heartseeker. So you're going to be doing a lot of damage to the tanks, and you're going to be clapping the backline. And then you can go uh, Crusher last if you want to finish off your 40% pen. Or you can go Brawlers for flat pen damage on the backline. Uh, but I would not recommend this over the tank build. This is just something that you want to build if you want to carry harder. And you feel comfortable on Wukong. Um, and then between Relics, you have starters. Uh, you have your choices between Teleport. Um, if you want to play for a better lane. If you want to play for more mid to late game team fights, you can go Blink first or Beads first. And then get both of these. Blink Beads will be a lot better for you in the team fights. Um, and if you're feeling freaky with it. Uh, and you don't want the Beads at all. And you don't have very much CC. You can go Blink first into a Thorns. Um, and Thorns is going to be a lot of damage. Uh, or you can go vice versa, Thorns, and then Blink later on. Um, and then between your uh, Shards, you can go Horn Shard mainly. I'll just go Horn Shard, honestly. That's it. That's Numero 1, Bologna. Same thing. Um, there's actually the new item. Um, not sure if it's going to be better than uh, rushing Berserkers into Exe, but let's just say it is. Um, so we go Axe, you can go Dust Toll as well, but I would say Axe into Equinox over Dust Toll because this is going to be a damage item first, so you're going to want the prots from Axe. Also the proc is just very nice on Axe. Uh, but yeah, this item, it'll give you a lot of healing when they're facing you. It'll do a lot of big damage, backshot damage when they're facing away from you. Um, but yeah, this is probably going to be a very strong item for a little bit until you nerf it. Really cheap, a lot of healing, good damage. After that, it's pretty much a standard Bologna build, going to Berserkers for all the attack speed, going to Shoguns for the attack speed, um, and then after that, you'd be getting your Kins for the big damage on the tanks. If you don't want to hit the tanks, um, or want to have threat on the tanks, you can go Exe, but I just recommend going Kins there. After that, you get your Animosity. Big damage on everybody, um, and then later on in your build, you could go a Mantle, so we'll do this. Real quick, boom, 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 boom. You can go a mantle last, um, or you can go a spare robe. I'd probably just always recommend mantle last. Um, and then if you don't want the prots at all and you just want to be tankier, you can go an XE last and get absolutely crazy with it. Um, but I just recommend, you know, going the the build I stated. Um, with her, it's the same thing. You can go teleport on her. Um, you're gonna go teleport on her first. Actually, every time there's nothing else that you really need on her. 
Rarely would you want beads on Bologna, um, but you could go beads, you can go blink on her as well, or you can go thorns, they're all good options, just depends on what your situation is in the game, and you're always going to go golden shard on her, um, because horn shard, wing shard, they're just not better than gold shard for her, helps her clear a lot more. Um, after that, I would say it's Odin. 100%. This guy is still very strong. You could even say that he's stronger than Wukong or Bologna right now. These are pretty like interchangeable, to be honest, at different stages in the game. Um, but I would say Odin third. On Odin, you can go Axe or... Um, you can go Axe or Bluestone. I would probably say um, Bluestone if you're going to rush Breastplate like we will in this build. Um... Just because it helps you clear, Bluestone late game is a lot better than Axe late game as well. The damage on Brute is much better than Axe. Axe, uh, Axe late game is just kind of, it's kind of been nerfed for a long time. They haven't touched it for some reason. They hate that. They hate the item. I don't know. The tier one is like, anyways, getting off, getting off topic. Bluestone into Breastplate. Um, you're gonna have a lot of good MP5. Um, max your three. Just a little little side note. Max your three. After uh, Breastplate, you get a Mystical Mail. Mystical Mail still hasn't been nerfed. Really strong item. Uh, you're just really annoying when you're next to people with your two. They can't do anything about it. Makes your, uh, once you get this item in lane, your trade's going to be a lot bigger, a lot better. Uh, after that, you can kind of go any magic item you want. You can go Genji's if you want the CDR. Uh, you can go Oni's if you want to be tankier and you want to have the CCR for if they have a bunch of CC, maybe it's going to be hard for you. You can even go uh, Hardward and then upgrade it to the Glyph. Which is... What is the glyph, actually? I don't know, it's the prop one. Not the silence one, the prop one. Um, but, yeah, you can go any of those options. I would generally say... Um, probably Onis or Genjis, though. Uh, it's just cheap. This The mitigations on this make a big difference. It's 12% uh, mitigations. Big, big difference. Um, after that, you can go... Uh, actually not Arcturus, I would go into Pridwin. Um, and then you're at max CDR. Upgrade this to either Glorious or Reverend, but I would pretty much always say go Glorious. Uh, just because Glorious is gonna be- if you can- if you can have a god that could proc Glorious, Glorious is better than Reverend. Just because the damage and the slow makes you more of a threat. Um, so I would just say go Glorious. After that, you can go Stone of Binding last, or Arc Druids. I would generally say the proc damage on Arc Druids is better, um, but it's up to you. You can go either. And uh, if you're feeling tanky enough... Oh wait, this actually... This is not the last time you'll be getting... You'll be going Brooch before this. Um, so yeah, get, get your Brooch. Um, you can also go Red Sun on Odin. It's honestly up to you. Um, I would generally say just go Brooch because the damage is better. But um, same thing as, you know... Oni Hunters, Pridwin, these are pretty flexible items, um, but I would say, I would say Brooch, but you can have the option of going Redstone. And then, like I said earlier, you go Arc Druids last, or Binding last, and if you're feeling tanky enough, um, then you can go Runeforge if you want some damage, um, and that's going to be juicy off your stun. Uh, also, side point, uh, upgrading your Breastplate to Breastplate of Vigilance, I think it's called. Determination, my bad. This one is also very good to get. Um, probably after your Mystical Mail is when you'd usually want to upgrade it. Um, but yeah, Breastplate Determination is still a very, very good glyph to get. Um, after that, your Relics would pretty much always be Teleport into pretty much always Blink because you want the Blink to get on people with your Cage. Um, if you don't want the Blink and you want to get freaky with it, then go Thorns. Thorns is uh, it's a lot of damage, but I pretty much always I pretty much always say go blink. But just keep in mind, Thorns is very good right now. Um, and then I would pretty much I pretty much always go hard shard, hone shard on Odin. But uh, if you're golden shard pilled, then golden shard is also fine him fine on him. Uh, but horn shard is generally what I would recommend to go. After Odin, um, I would say. I would say Achilles is probably better than Surtur, um, especially because Achilles is a good matchup into Surtur. Um, I go more aggressive build on Achilles, um, as I think you should on Achilles, uh, because of his passive, the armor stance. Um, Axe, 
into Jotun's. Uh, the second you get the money to upgrade Jotun's into Jotun's Vigor, you want to do that. That's uh, the whole point of rushing this Jotun's is that you're going to full heal off the wave whenever you get low. Uh, so just make sure that whenever you're playing this lane, wait until you get around that 60% HP threshold and then have your abilities up for that. Um, and then press your two and full heal off the full heal off the wave. Um, but make sure you upgrade that as soon as possible. Uh, then Glad Shield into a Genji's. You can go Oni's here as well, uh, but I would pretty much always go Genji's. Um, after that, you would go into Arcturus. Now you're going to be capped on CDR. You're going to be pretty tanky. You have the option between uh, on your passive between going tankier and more damage, and you're going to have a nice well-rounded build at this point and then you're gonna upgrade it to sundering axe um, and last you have the option between any flat button item you want really you can go shadow drinker or brawlers if you want to go fast um then go shadow drinker if you want to have better damage um and the anti-heal against you know let's say a, a good healing comp or you want to dive the adc and he's got a lot of healing um i would generally say brawlers is better and a better item that you should go but if you want to go fast and have fun Shadow Drinkers on the table too. Um, and if you don't want to have that more of a flat pen uh, damage build, then I would say you should go into Onius here. And then you should go into a Mantle Last. Um, and this is the build that I would recommend going if you're not really uh, confident on going more of a damage uh, carry focus build. Just go into the Onius and the Mantle. But if you want to go more damage carry, go to the build like I just said. Shadow Drinker or Brawlers, Genji's last, or Genji's, and then these two last. Um, and then on Achilles, pretty much always TP on him, um, and pretty much always blank on him. Blank is really, really important for him to gun on people. Um, obviously still, Thorns is very good, but I'd pretty much always take this in almost every game. Um, on him, you have the choice between Golden Shard or Horn Shard, same as Odin. I would generally go Golden Shard, um, just because it helps your clear immensely on Achilles, especially when you have Axe, you need the help with clear. Um, so I pretty much always go Golden Shard on him. Uh, next, Surtur. Um, he got a big buff this patch, so now you can actually uh, max your one, and you can hit the other guy, and you'll stack your one as very quickly just from hitting the other dude with the one. So bonk him, not bonk the wave. Um, so he's going to be pretty good this patch. He's going to have his stacks a lot faster. Axe first into Sekhmet's. Um, this will let you proc your cooldowns whenever your goop, your goop from your passive drops on the floor. If you pick that up, it'll proc your suck mid scepter, and then if you start hitting them, it'll uh, reduce your cooldown, so it helps you stack a lot faster with your one, helps you get more damage off. Um, and I'm just going to go a CDR focus build here, just so that you can stack as fast as possible. Because the whole point of this character is pretty much just stacking your one. The more stacks you have, the more threatening you are. The less stacks you have, the less threatening you are. So just... I'm gonna, I would recommend going a 40% CDR rush build and just stack your one as much as possible. Just bonk people and uh, stack it as much as possible. Breastplate, um, Genji is obviously 40% CDR. Um, after this, uh, you could upgrade your breastplate, like I said earlier, to breastplate determination after you get your Genjis and you're capped out on 40% CDR. Um, after that, you're gonna wanna go Arcturids. Uh, you're going to be taking a lot of damage as Surtur before you hit somebody usually, so you're going to charge up your Arcturids proc. With your 1, you're going to bonk them with a fat, juicy 1 auto proc. Um, always go Arcturids there. And then Sundering Axe. And then last item, you have a choice between Binding or Runeforge as per usual. I would generally say Binding, um, but if you're, again, as always, if you're feeling tanky enough and you're not feeling threatened, then go Runeforge and bonk him over the head, but I would generally say go Binding here. Um, on him, you're gonna always go TP pretty much, always, and you're pretty much always gonna go Blink on him. Um, same situation as most Warriors, but Thorn's gonna be good. Um, and for your starter, I would say Horn Shard. You don't really need the help of Golden Shard um, with your clear. But um, you can go Golden Shard or Horn Shard, but I would generally say Horn Shard also helps you stack your one more. You could pop your Horn Shard off cooldown um, whenever it's up and just stack your one faster. Um, but I would say generally Horn Shard. And then honorable mentions uh, past those top five. 
Um, I'm not sure how good Cthulhu is right now with uh, the Conduit nerf. I would expect it to be a little bit worse and probably at this point I would go Sans. Um, but I'm not too sure how bad the clear is on him yet. Um, but you could go Sans in the timeline or you could still go the same Conduit build on him. Um, but Cthulhu is probably still pretty good. And um, Erlang, probably not very good. I would actually say Herc is probably pretty solid right now. Um, and he has a lot of flexible builds. You could go Frostbound first if you're feeling, if you're feeling frisky. You know, I'd say generally on Herc you're going to just go uh, Bluestone to Breastplate. Um, just a standard Herc build, max CDR, run around. Um, yeah, there's just a... Uh, there's more gods that are there are there are gods that are good as well outside of this top five, um, so if there's something you want to play, play it. Don't be uh, don't be worried to play something that's outside of the top five or think that you can only play these characters. You know, if you want to play something, have fun, do it. All right, yeah, that's it. That's all I can think of. Top five. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot, but. I was going to say that you could, uh, if you're going to go this Jotun's build on Achilles, uh, then I would generally recommend you starting out in Armor Stance. Uh, Armor Stance is going to be, if you go Axe Jotun's and you start out in Damage Stance as Achilles, you're going to be very, uh, very squishy. You're going to be, it's going to be very sketchy. I would generally say go Armor Stance because you're already overstatting them in power. Um, go the Armor Stance with this Jotun's tier 1 start and you'll be very very tanky with a lot of damage so only go in uh damage stance if you're really comfortable pretty much always start in armor stance okay boom boys now it's gamer time <laughs>